inexplainable yet happy sensation that seems to penetrate everything. For some, it is the time of bunny rabbits, colored eggs, and bright new clothes. For others, it is a master artist displaying pink apple blossoms, yellow daffodils, and the flawless shadings on the bluebird's wing. But it is more than all these to the Church of Jesus Christ. The message of Easter is contained in this great declaration, Jesus is alive!
other women, Mary Magdalene arrived at the borrowed tomb to find it empty. In the words of John, Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre. And she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? Thinking it was the gardener, she fell at his feet, sobbing, Sir, if thou hast taken him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Tenderly, Jesus spoke only one word, Mary. She would have recognized the tone of that voice anywhere, seeing the livid marks of the nails in his hands, and looking up into his face, she whispered, Master.
Now Thomas had proclaimed that unless he could see the nail prints in Jesus' hands and could thrust his hands in the gaping wound in his side, he would not believe the resurrection story. Eight days later, Thomas had his proof, for Jesus suddenly appeared with the disciples that were gathered together. Signaling out Thomas, he smiled as he spoke. Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Overwhelmed, Thomas lost all his blustering skepticism. All he could say as he fell to his knees was, My Lord and my God, Jesus was alive. One of the witnesses to the scene was Simon Peter, who had emphatically denied the Savior three times. What was he seeing now left no doubt in his heart. Something tremendous had happened. But how? He remembered that at Calvary, the shouting of the mob had hushed only when the nails were driven into the hands of Jesus. He recalled being blinded by hot tears that were filled his eyes. While his very heart broke, he could never forget the group of soldiers who grasped the crossbeam and slowly lifted it off the ground. With each movement, the nails tore at the flesh of the Nazarene. Peter shuddered at the dull thud that the cross was dropped into the hole prepared for it. There before his eyes was being enacted the awesome drama of the redemption of mankind. And he only sat
disciples at a later date. That's which we have heard with our own ears, seen with our own eyes, handled with our own hands, declare we unto you. And of what they were so sure, that Jesus Christ was alive. Through the scores of years that have followed, there have been many men and women who have experienced the same fellowship, who have shared the same joy with the same radiant victory. And you too may have the fellowship with the risen Lord. Christ can guide your life, solve your problems, turn your weaknesses into strength, give victory over your struggles, and turn your sorrows into joy. Then this is the real meaning of Easter. Because I live, he also shall live. Jesus is alive. 